There are many people in this world living unsustainably. People walking around a certain place without knowing what is really happening in this world. Risk is the probability of suffering harm from a hazard that can cause injury, disease, death, economic loss, or damage. Risk management involves deciding whether and how to reduce a particular risk to a certain level and at what cost. Risk assessment is the process of using statistical methods to eliminate how much harm a particular hazard can cause to human health Risk analysis involves identifying hazards and evaluating their associated risk. A hazard is a situation that poses a level of threat to life, health, property, or environment. Yes, people do not know the truth, and one of them is Ryan. He doesn't care about everything that can be seen in the environment. It's like he's taking the natural resources provided by the Mother Earth for granted. Before you pass here, you must solve this problem. Natural hazards pose risks to humans. Natural hazards result from natural earth processes. These hazards include earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, floods, droughts, landslides, volcanic eruptions, extreme weather, fires started by lightning, sinkholes, coastal erosion, and impacts from asteroids. Natural hazards shape the history of human societies. Hazardous events can have a great impact on humans. They can change the size of human populations and drive human migration. So, what can you do now with these natural hazards natural hazards are natural phenomenon that's why we cannot stop this from occurring but there are some ways to prevent this from happening like in the case of floods some solutions are by stopping illegal logging and planting more trees Before you can 
go to the next level, you must first solve the problem. Stop. Before you can go to the next level, you must first solve this problem. Cultural hazards and lifestyle choices are hazards that are caused by choice or a habit of a society. In example, smoking, excessive eating, and poverty. <laughs> Stop Anna from smoking. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> Bayan. Anna masama kaya yan. <laughs> Stop. Not again. Before you can go to the next level. You must solve this first. <laughs> biological hazards, also known as biohazards, refer to biological substances that pose a threat to the health of living organisms, primarily that of humans. This can include medical waste or samples of a microorganism, virus, or toxin from a biological source that can affect human health. Tuberculosis or TB ay isa sa malaking problema ang pangkalusugan ng Pilipinas sa nakaraang mga dekada. Ayon sa World Health Organization noong 2006, pangsyam ang Pilipinas sa mga bansang maraming may sakit ng TB. At pangatlo naman ang Pilipinas sa mga bansang may pinakamaraming na-report na may sakit na TB sa Western Pacific Region kasama ang mga bansang Papua New Guinea, Vietnam, Cambodia at iba pa. Kahit maaari nang gamutin ito, napakarami pa rin mga Pilipinong may TB, lalo na yung mga nagtatrabaho at nasa produktibong edad. Kahit sino ay maaaring mahawa ng TB, babae o lalaki, Bata o matanda, mayaman o mahirap. Paano ba malalaman kung may TB ang isang tao? Posibleng may TB ang isang tao kung siya ay may mga ganitong senyales. Kung matagal na ang ubo niya, ibig sabihin tumagal na ng dalawang linggo o mahigit pa na maaaring mayroon o wala pang ibang sintomas. Mayroong lagnat, sumasakit ang dibdib o likod, dumura ng plema na may dugo, Namamayat o bumaba ang timbang, nawala ang ganang kumain. Kapag ang isang tao ay may sintomas ng TB, dapat siyang magpatingin sa health center para gumaling. Tatlong beses susuriin ang plema sa loob ng dalawang araw. Sa unang pagpapakonsulta ng pasyente, susuriin ang kanyang plema sa center. Sa susunod na araw, pagkagising sa umaga, Dadalhin niya ang plema sa center. Pagbalik niya, muling susuriin ang plema niya. Kapag negatibo ang resulta ng tatlong pagsusuri at may sintomas pa rin, kumonsulta muli sa municipal health officer sa center para gumaling. Nagsisimula na tayo sa biological hazard. Ah, Ngayon mo yung masamang amon. Odor from pig, pigeries. Kapasok kasi sa ano sa uh, life support system sa so, biological yun. Um, tayo mga Pilipino, we, oh, we, we are secured by having to take the bath once a day, di ba? Ay, nakipag sa ibang countries. Punta ka sa Saudi. Walang naliliw. Uh, marami lang ang viruses, bacteria, whatever lang na biglang nagkakaroon na yung problema. This also resulted to, ano, to even uh, 
instruments like like computers and uh, may virus. <laughs> well, you have to, ano, sinasabi virus yun, ha? pero bakit virus? Basically, talagang doon na nangyayari. It could have erupted somewhere, ano? through pollution. Kasi kung, kung instrument na, ba't nakakasakit yung computer? Kinakain ngayon yung ano, di ba? Yung mga laman ng data, sinisira. Yon. That's one, ano, which at this point in time, wala pa kong nakaka-determine kung paano gagamutin yun. Tanggalin mo, di ba? Wala na. Parang namatay na siya. <laughs> Palitan mo ngayon. Something like that. These are the... Solutions to infectious diseases. Increase research on tropical disease and vaccines. Reduce poverty. Decrease malnutrition. Improve drinking water quality. Reduce unnecessary use of antibiotics. Educate people to take all of an antibiotic prescription. Reduce antibiotic use to promote livestock. Let's say you're in an area where you don't normally work, and you spill something on your hand. At the time, you think nothing of it. You just wipe off your hand and forget about it. Later, your skin turns red and begins to itch. Maybe it even blisters or burns. Now you wonder, what did I get on my hand? Chemicals are everywhere. Ingredients in manufacturing operations. Reagents in laboratory processes. Even cleaning solutions on the plant floor, in the office, or at home. All of these chemicals are very useful, but some of them can also be hazardous to our health or safety. Chemical hazard is a danger caused by chemicals to the environment and people. A chemical hazard arises from contamination with harmful or potentially harmful chemicals. Now, chemical hazards. Itong chemical hazards naman, nagsisimula yan sa mga tira-tira kami na usually pati hospital meron din yan. So, ano itong mga chemicals? Marami tayong chemicals. Minsan pinag-mimix pa. The usual ordinary chemical na napikita namin ano, hindi nakukontain yung pintura. Pag nagpintura kayo, no matter kahit tubig yung pangalo, may chemicals pa rin yun. Pag nagpintura kayo, hindi nyo mahugas ang gusto yung brats o yung roll-on. Usually, tinatapon na yun pag natapos yun. Dapat makahiwalay. Makahiwalay na yan. Now, yung container ng pintura, ang naubos na, tinatakpag na. Nagdadry yan. Ganun pa rin. Chemicals pa rin yung naiiwan doon. Mga metal elements. Lead. Lead, for instance, is a part of paint. Hindi pwedeng walang lead. Ngayon, kung, kung magpipintura ka, hindi ka magpugas, o kulang yung pagpugas mo, kumain ka ng kamay ka, kumain ka na ng lead. And we'll stay there forever. Hindi yung hirap tanggapin. Yun na rin yung mag-focus ng sickness mo. Pagkaraniwa niya, cancer. Pag lumitin sa lakas, Ano po, kailangan ka, kukuskusin mo. 
Pag matanggap, hirap na, hindi ka magnapakalit na. Eh, lenyan siya. Pero purely for instance. So, what can you do now with these chemical hazards? For the case of those leftover paint materials, you should properly dispose them and use them efficiently. You should also properly secure the cover of the paint. For the case of those other chemicals, you should reduce or use other organic materials as much as possible. Globally. Act locally. Act locally. We should not only watch the risk around us. We should also take further actions for the world we live in is in critically in danger. Thank you. Individual, every time we do something, we should first think of the consequences of our actions. Our actions should be beneficial to the environment. And if we really want to make a change, we first we need to change ourselves for a better tomorrow. As an individual, I am equally alarmed with the passing changes in our environment. And as a solution, I would like to start it personally by taking care and protecting our environment. I will make a stand and be well disciplined in my responsibility as an individual. As an individual, we can help to solve the problems about environmental hazards like becoming informed thinking critically about risk and making careful choices can reduce the major risk we are facing.